What's going on everybody? This is Seth Cottingham. You probably know me from TikTok or Instagram. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before we break down this song in the tutorial, if you could hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, it helps YouTube push my video out to more people, it helps YouTube algorithm, all stuff like that, and helps me. So please do that. Thank you very much. Let's get right into it. So real quick, first we're gonna go over the chords. It's super easy. There's only two chord shapes. There is technically a third if you wanna get into the intro that kind of brings you back into our main chord progression, but it's just two chord shapes. If you've seen my other videos, we've done them before. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on this fretboard so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so we're in standard tuning, which all guitars come in and when you buy them. So if you don't know what tuning you're in, you're in standard tuning. I do have a video on how to tune your guitar if you wanna check that out. If you don't know where you're in tune, check out that video, it'll help you out. So what we're doing here is we're getting these two shapes right here. I don't even know what you would call this. I like to call it kind of a triangle shape. Because your fingers make a sort of a triangle, all right? And the next one, this is like your just typical minor chord shape. So we're gonna be working in this little three fret box, which is the fifth, sixth, and seventh fret. So all you gotta worry about is just this little box right here of frets. So for the first chord, we're gonna step up on the A string, starting on, which is the second string from the top, A string, starting going five, six, and then keep that middle finger, slide it up, and that'll be your seven. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right here, five, six, seven, and then we're gonna go to the first chord. So keep that middle finger there, seventh fret of the A string. The next string down, we're gonna put our pointer finger back here on that fifth fret, so two frets back. On the D string, and then lastly, G string right here, your ring finger on the seventh fret. Same fret, right, as your middle finger. It's just those three strings. So from the top we go five, six, seven, And then for the second chord, we're gonna take this ring finger, and move it up one string, right? So from down here to up here, and that's gonna be the root of our second chord. Only two chords in the song. So second chord root right there, and then you're just gonna bar these bottom three strings on that fifth fret, this being the fifth fret. So that's the second chord. It just goes back and forth, right? Now, if you watch in the beginning, I like to have my whole finger kind of barring up here like this. It's just more comfortable for me to hold it that way. You're more than welcome to just do these bottom three strings, but I like to hold my finger up here. I'm not playing these other strings, but it just feels comfortable to have it up there. So the strumming pattern I just did there, the that's from the intro. Now, it's the same chord progression, and it's that same walk up as it is in the intro, but now we're putting it with a different strumming pattern. For the rest of the song, the chords are exactly the same. Strumming pattern is just a little, little different, right? So we're keeping these chord shapes, but we're gonna now walk the bass line, right? The root is always just gonna switch, right? Switch back and forth, that's how you get the bass. Now here we go. So for the main part of the song, you go five, six, seven. One more time, five, six, seven, yep. Then we go to the other chord. Five, six, seven again, the other string. Five, six, seven. Yeah. Five, six, seven. That's it. That's the whole song. I'll show you that little secret chord that happened in the intro. You only play it once, but you can always add it in for some flavor. You know, kind of mysterious chord. All it is is you walk up, five, six, seven, right? But you're gonna be on this low E string. So, five, six, seven. Now, pointer finger on the sixth fret. Right, point your finger here on the sixth fret of the A string, second string from the top. 
and then ring finger, seventh fret, the string below that. That would be the D string. So you got your middle finger up here, seventh fret. Notice the, the kind of uh, tension build there. And then it goes in. Resolution. Pretty cool. All right, so let's get into the Quinto. I'm playing this on my sixth string, so everything's gonna be in standard tuning. Most beginners and people who are watching tutorials are playing in standard tuning, so it should be easier to look at and watch. So I'm gonna break this down into a bunch of little chunks, play it two times slowly, and then one times normal speed. And I'll give you some tips and tricks along the way to kind of get it to sound exactly as how Pantera plays it for Junior Ace. So here we go, first part. Two important things to not miss here is that slide from the 12th fret here up to the 15th fret. You don't wanna just pick these. It just, it doesn't sound right, right? The way to get it just like the song is to slide up to 15. And then here, the second part is where you put your finger on the 10th fret and you hammer on to the 12th, all right? If you listen to the song, he does that and it sounds so good. So much better than just being like, Right, there's more flavor, more feel. All right, cool, the next part. Super easy, but also can be tricky. But really, it's it just repeats itself. It's, it's very easy. It's all here in this 10th and 12th fret, so here we go. The best advice I can give for getting that down is just go slow. And as you get better, just speed up. But it takes time. If you try to do it full speed at the first go, it's gonna take you longer. Just, once you get it perfect, going slow, pick it up a little bit. It's exactly how I did it. Cool. All right, so the next part here, 10th and 12th fret, right? That's where we're gonna start from. And we're gonna do it like this. All right, so the next part here, 10th and 12th fret, right? That's where we're gonna start from. And we're gonna do it like this. Pretty standard little requinto part there. Just make sure you get this slide in. All those slides that Pantera does is very intentional and it sounds so much better that way. So when you're up here on that third and fifth fret, just keep those fingers down and really exaggerate that slide. It makes it sound so much better. All right, the next part, lots of slides in here. Now, when I play this, and I'm telling you, nobody cares. When I play this, I never really get it from the third and fifth fret. The first time I do, right? But after that, I just, I just slide my hand up close to that part. Sometimes it's like this, sometimes it's there. Who knows, right? But the most important part is just always finish up here on that eighth 
and seventh fret, right? So you just get the sound, right? It's the feeling, it's the sound. It's not necessarily exact notes. Now, if you want to be a perfectionist, you're more than welcome to try to muscle that out, but just play with feeling, right? Don't be a robot. All right, the next part. The most important part of that part of the requinto is just getting used to this back and forth. It's kind of tricky to do that, but you just got to practice it, get better at it, then all the way at the end. That's the easy part, right? But just really take some time to kind of master that part and the rest will fall in line. Now where that one ends, it actually ends up doing the entire requinto that we just did one more time. So I'm, I'm not gonna go through it all over again because it's the exact same thing, except for all the way at the end. So we get all the way to the end where we go like this. Then we do this part right here, twice slowly and then once faster, y'all. So here we go. All that is is just a way to kind of conclude the requinto. Super easy. Starts here on the 8th and 7th fret. Down one part of the scale. One note of the scale, I guess. Quarter of the scale. So 8-7. Down to 5-7. And then 3-5. And then if you want to, jump into the chords. Cool. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching the video. If you want literally anything I have, guitars, picks, mics, audio interface, 12 string, 6 string, acoustic, electric, anything. I got links down in the description for everything that's featured in this video. And then another link all the way at the top that goes to my website that has everything I've ever had in any video. As always, shout out to D'Angelico and Earthworks Audio and Sweetwater. They hooked me up. They'll hook you up. They always got the best prices. Actually, $100 off now on my 12 string. Uh, that I played in the beginning of the video. 100 off until maybe December, but then holiday shopping, they'll have more deals. Last but not least, I'm always looking for ways to improve my videos. So if you have any ideas or things that you wish I talked more on or had like, I don't know, more different kinds of videos, anything, drop it in the comments. I read all the comments. I'm looking for ways to just make my videos the best and the most helpful and to teach you all how to play guitar. So I'll talk to you all in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.